Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, the Star Wars mod. Let us continue on for the last off. So, we're trying to get these rockets to work. For some reason, I'm not allowed to build them. I'm just going to Google it while we're waiting for this to kind of go. But I'm, I thought, how to build rockets toy for... I thought it was just built in the... Um, like, as a type of plane. Like, I might, I might be misremembering things, which is entirely possible. Done in four days. Um... Rocket sites produce them automatically. Oh, okay. I did not know that. That's... Well, that works out fine for me, then. We'll just keep on getting better and better rockets. Oh, yeah, they have 17. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I did not know they automatically built them. I'm assuming if I try to build one of these things, it would have the negative 1,000% modifier. So our only rockets right now are you guys. How far can you, can you only go? 526 kilometers? I like, like, look at the difference between what the human built planes can do and my aircraft. And that's only, like, that's without even all the other fancy ships I have as well. We'll make you a little bit better. But I could have sworn your range was more than 500 kilometers. No, 500 kilometers actually is your range. 640 for you. Then it goes straight up to 11,000. That is a very big difference. And then you, of course, have 40,000 because you can basically earn ICBM. And then we just have rocket sites and we can just bomb any city on Earth with those. And no, nobody would be able to stop us. What are they going to do about it? Nothing. Of course, our rockets, we're going to send them into Iran as well. Strategically bomb them. How, much, how strong are they? Because right now, these basic ones are kind of garbage. Naval targeting in port 6. Strategic bombing of 300. How is that compared to like a regular plane? Like my bombers that I have built. They have strategic bombing of 60. So they are better than my, my Y wings here. So it goes up from um, 300 to 450 to 600 to 1.2 thousand. So these are four times better than everything else. I think that's pretty good. Get the advanced mostly centers. But again, I'm thinking like, can I? I don't think I can build more factories right now. I'm thinking I'm stuck at 56 until Smaltov, Ravenstoff packed. Are you actually something of mine, or are you just? Given to me, yeah. You, you can go live over there, please, and thank you. I prefer not to interact with you people. The, the humans. I don't know. Are they called humans in um Star Wars as well? I do not remember. How do I, how would I get more shit? How like how would I get more factories? Okay, I guess I get four more actually from here, industrializing in the desert. I kind of forgot I got that one. So that'll hit me up to exactly 60. Which will mean that the ship is completely repaired, which will get rid of all my penalties here. The, it won't exactly be in flight quite yet, but it still will be pretty good. You're still way ahead of time. Are you ahead of time as well? No, so we'll get some better artillery. Uh, upgrade the Y-Wing to be a little bit better. We got five more days here. After this, I'm definitely going to go for the extra four civilian factories, even though I don't think I have anything to actually do with them. Other than basically just, uh, infrastructure shit. I guess I can also build, like, land forts. But, like, I'm not too worried about that. 
we're gonna industrialize the desert. Four more factories pushing up to us up to a lovely 60. Then we expand the hangars, finalize the hull repairs, grounded ship, finish the auxiliary systems. But then we would still somehow need to get four more or 40 more factories from somewhere. If we were to annex our puppets, uh, right now that would be exactly another 10. So we'd still need 30 on top of these guys. Again, I can't annex them until I have a ton of political power. We're just about to hit past zero, so... If that's any indication on where we actually are. 29,000 days. A little bit ahead of time for me. So let's go for some encryption. Danzig or war. So, like, there's still not a lot of troops in this territory. So I feel like the French can just easily march their way across. But the question, of course, is will the French even do anything? Spanish Civil War is about to end. They're almost about to take Barcelona. I mean, I probably could have sent, like, my speeder into Spain. Just to see how well it would do. The like, country choices around how they have 10 to 13 divisions. I'm at a pretty comfortable 18. I feel like my 18 could definitely be Turkey's 40 uh, at this point. Again, I don't know how good their troops are, but I'm pretty sure mine are just better in every way. Wait, what? I haven't been able to attack anybody. What do you... Our plan of conquest has failed. The men have lost faith in their senior of, uh, officers of the executor to maintain order and restore the Empire. The respective groups are already formed by various admirals and generals who want to restore... Force the Empire in their own image. Our troops no longer follow orders. And march by... Okay, so... I didn't... I kicked him away. I, I did not... Invite him in here. Well then, um, we're gonna save the game. War is a failure. I did not have the opportunity to do anything. We're going to annex all these regions. Democratic supporters started civil war. Of course, I don't get the territory. I have 49 factories. They just destroyed all my factories. The animals. All of you guys deploy here. I don't have my speeders. We cannot industrialize the desert. Well, I guess at that point, we might as well just expand the hangar. Like, do you have my speeders? You got the tank division. Do you have a special bonus as well? No, you're basically just the exact same. Five troops out of 16. But I think it's because it's, like, they're the AI, right? Even with all this said and done, like, they're still the AI. But I feel like we can just go to Gulf City and annex them. It's a little bit disappointing that this is what it's turned out to be. Got it. Okay, Spain is one. There's our speeder. Our beautiful, beautiful boys being... Taken away from us. Where's my aircraft? Please fly over Arabia. I know they don't have any air, any uh, ships themselves. So I'm assuming if I had accepted um, the Soviet guy into my ranks, he also would have started a civil war against us. But luckily, he did not do that. Germany's at war. Their def I mean, our defense is 1,300. Yes, sir. I think that seems pretty solid. Can I do a naval invasion? I don't have any boats, so I'm going to go with the answer. Probably no. I mean, I have air superiority, but I don't think that's enough for me to be able to do a... Um... Okay. 
How close were they capit- Like, how- When do you capitulate? The Democratic City State of Gulf. No, I can tell you very much. I do not know what's going on. Like, are you not the, um... Oh, I guess we just annexed them, right? So they're actually probably using our actual good equipment now. The Nazis want to dock in our territory. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no to that for right now. So democracy, they've tried it and they failed. I have 36 factories. How do I have 36 factories? Okay, because I'm guessing I had a lot of factories over here that did, uh, it took away from me. Yes, sir. As we go into Gulf City, that should be yes, them capitulating. Yeah, they, they've capitulated. We're back up to 52. But I'm assuming now I've got to rebuild a ton of military factories. Not really, actually. But they did get rid of all of my troops I just built. So, you know, thanks for that, I guess. Do we at least get them back into storage? Okay, did get them back into storage. Got it. So you guys are now... We're, we're just going to go full speeder mode in this. You're also going to go full speeder mode. Speeders all the way. Army uses a thousand. But you shouldn't need fuel, right? Because you're... I thought these guys didn't use fuel. Delete all of whatever the hell this garbage is. Please and thank you. We can also delete a handful of these speeders, so we don't need this many anymore. What do we need anti-tank divisions for? Answers I'm not too sure. We still got 16 divisions. Getting pushed down is very annoying. Did I actually at least... Yeah, I still gotta industrialize the desert then. But at least I'm... Stronger now, kind of. I have more territory, at least. But I have no building slots. So even after this, I'm going to be at 53 plus, um... Plus... Cause I was going to hit 60. Now I'm definitely not. Okay, so Poland is basically dead. I mean, I'd like to just fight some war goals. I think I need to take more territory and build more stuff. If I have any hope of actually um, accomplishing my goals now. Because I could have barely, barely, barely made it to... um. Like, these don't use fuel, right? Oh, no, they do use fuel. Okay, well, if they also use fuel, might as well get the bark speeders and upgrade them. I know what planes and reserves. The ATOT. Yes, I know. Okay, drop you down the one. Yeah, I just lost a lot of factories, which it, it's shitty because that's the way that civil war mechanics in Hearts of Iron 4 work. Is that a handful of factories just disappeared into the ether? Even though I really like those, uh, I like those factories back. If you could do that for me, that would be lovely. Um, so you still have enough manpower. You know, I'll just cancel two more of you. Because we're going to need to take manpower. Are you, are you cores? No, you're colony states. As well.
which sucks. Cause I would I would have liked you to be considered core territories. I don't think there's a way I can make you cores, right? No. That's what says. Because we're back up to 56. We're going to hit 57 afterwards. But basically, yeah, like we need to try to attack somebody. You know, like the allies are worth the Germans, right? Poland's capitulated. Germany's quite strong. And I'm just thinking, like, I got to somehow... I mean, I've, I think I have to... Not join with Germany, obviously, but I've got to... Yes, sir. Find commonalities with him. Like, if I was to just fight a war against France, it lasts 40 days. Against Britain, it would take 40 days as well. Yes, sir. But I do believe that's what I have to do. Iran, it's been nice knowing you, but you're probably not actually that important in the grand scheme of things. Um, put you on a front line down here. Justify, conquer. Right away, sir. So I think we need we need more factories. And the only way we can get more factories right now is to attack somebody. Like we would we need to Attack France, we need to attack the British. Yeah, I hate British ideals. Screw them. The Italians are doing a pretty good job. I don't know why all these little puppet states... Did they add them in... Again, I, again, I haven't played Vic or, uh, Vanilla in such a long time. But since when have, like, Andorra been in the game? Or is this purely from the Star Wars mod that for some reason added them? It would be a very weird addition for them to do, I think. Right, Even with a negative 25% penalty, I'm pretty sure you're still... Yeah, you're 75% the debuff on top of that. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, what's the debuff? Is it, just, is it manpower? It is purely manpower. So you know what? Who's closer to it? I'm gonna cancel you as well. 6,000 we put into actual divisions. Is somebody here non-core manpower? 2% for you. But what does 2% mean on this? Is it mean plus 2% or... Like, is it plus 2% of 0. 0.067? Or is it going to be 2.067? Because those are very different numbers. But again, I still want to go to War Economy. Probably the first thing we want to do is go to War Economy. So we basically can guarantee... Like, what's, what's this say? Like, what does it actually... So this recruit population in yellow, and it's not a green modifier. So, honestly, I don't really know what it actually does. All I do know is I hope that when the war breaks out with the, with the allies, I don't just get completely destroyed. Which is entirely possible. France, like, France still capitulates at, like, 1%, like, like very quickly, right? Yeah, 70%. When does RC be done? It's going to be done in another 8 days. So what are you? You are colonial garrisons, 4 artillery, 21 to 31 infantry. Are you part of the Allies? No.
But I still think this is the best shot we have. But I, again, I'm gonna you know save scum a little bit here. We are gonna save. Why are you not happy? You think that we're stronger? Okay. Like, can I push my way through here? 1,000 breakthrough. Yes. The answer to that question is absolutely. Uh, our defense here is significantly stronger than them. Push your way here. Attack, attack, attack. I mean, 99%. Well, 99 attack, and that's with a negative 70.2% modifier on them. For now, we can have a non-aggression pack, but I don't think that's going to be lasting for too long. France has been called in, which means that you guys can now push your way straight to the coast of Syria. Can, I don't know how many military factors they actually have here. But I need... Like, is it control, or is it just have more factors than 60? So I think as long as I occupy territory, it's still good. People are getting called into the war. You guys push your way through. Like, they can't stop us. You know, you cannot stop the march of the Empire. Uh, I do need to definitely control this region, though. Um, so... Infantry template 5 and 8. Very strange numbers. 28, 20... Like, I don't know. There's very strange. Imperial Regiment. Train up, like, th four of you to mostly just be a defensive line. So that we do not get nearly invaded in construction site and immediately capitulate. Yes, sir. Like, we're faster than them, too. Like, we just... I don't even know how you got out of the boat. But I guess that's fine. Um, so the line going into um, Jordan can just be like this. That's fine. Got it. Belgium has capitulated. Slovakia, sure, we can have a non-aggression pact as well. That's okay. Can definitely control this territory before too long. Yes, sir. Like you're not a puppet state, right? No. And you're part of Oman as well. So we could also um Samantha Magino. We could focus on materials as well. I mean it's breaking the game a little bit. Like you're not supposed to be able to do that. Keep going. Obviously. Yes, our speeder will go take over all this territory. Get going. Let's go. Yeah, so go to Beirut. Follow that by... Oh, Let's stay in Beirut. I don't know how many factories they actually have in this region. But we can tell that we are capturing some. And after this, of course, we're just going to want to build in the territories that we're capturing. I think this area just got glitched, because I think we are- the game's not expecting us to be faster than retreating troops. Finland has accepted Soviet demands, so the Winter War is not going to be happening this time around. Right away, sir. And they've declared war on Denmark. They'll probably soon declare war on, um... Right away, yeah, Norway. There we go. I mean, the speeder shouldn't be losing here. I can't imagine. 57 factories. I think... I mean, stability is horrible. We're still stranded, which is understandable. That the People are not too happy about that. One of our infantry divisions are garbage. Let's say infantry division one. Your job is basically to fall back line in construction site, and that's all you're going to do. Okay, 
Paris has fallen. We have taken a large stock of a pile of equipment, but even though all their equipment is probably worse than anything we have. Well, 57. Our, our factory is getting destroyed. We do have some things that are getting broken. But it's not too bad. All troops here. If you're on this front, you shouldn't be. I should probably delete it. Uh, Iran doesn't matter right now. The guy is still supposed to be defending construction spite. If you could get there a little bit faster, that would be lovely. We're at 58 factories. And again, what we want to do is build more factories. More than any of the other infrastructure stuff, we want factories. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. Now do a close thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.